Hey guys, John Richards here. In this video, we're going to talk about why to-do lists don't work. Hey, before I get started, I want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the bell notification on the side so you get notified of any future videos. Now, why to-do lists don't work? First of all, what is a to-do list? A do list is more of a brain dump. You've written down everything you want to do, you have to do, you can do, you feel like doing on a list. That's a to-do list. Some people's to-do lists are never ending. Okay, so the reason that they don't work because you're not really getting to the important things. You're not, first of all, you're never going to get it all done. There's no way you're ever going to get all the things you have to do during the day done. You've got to realize that. You always, you're always going to have more on your to-do list than you'll ever get done. That's just the way it is, man. So why they don't work is because you're not really getting to the important part. You're always going to be behind. It's an overwhelming feeling. So what I'm going to suggest is a better way is to take, okay, you can still do the brain dump, but do it today, planning for tomorrow. Now, if you're really doing it right, you're going to plan your week, okay? You're going to sit down on a Sunday or a Friday or a Saturday, whenever it is, and you're going to plan the next week. And how you're going to do this, you're going to identify everything you have to do. You're going to do the same brain dump, okay? But here's the difference. You're going to prioritize it. You're going to put it in order, okay? What's one thing I can do next week? What's one thing I can do tomorrow? Such that by doing everything else becomes easier and necessary. There's always going to be something that's more important than everything else. And you got to do that first, no matter how hard it is. What most people do is they don't want to do the hard things. If you do what's hard, life becomes easy. But if you do what's easy, life becomes hard. So you got to sit down and be real with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. What is the first thing I need to do? Okay? So maybe you got 50 things. And you know there's no way I'm going to get 50 things done next week. There's no way I'm going to get 10 things done tomorrow. Whatever it is, however you're planning... But always start your day with a plan, okay? Now, here's what you want to do. You want to make sure that you write down, here's what I do. At the end of the day, now I've always got my week planned, but I calibrate on a daily basis. So here's a good daily process for you. At the end of your day, sit down and say, what are the three most important things that I need to do tomorrow? Okay? One, two, three. These have got to be needle movers. And they're not whole projects, they're actions, or one action, maybe a phone call. Whatever it is, it's got to be important, okay? It's not just something clean off my desk. I got to arrange my office, all that stuff. That's just a waste of time. I'm not saying you're not going to do those things, but you're going to make sure these things are taken care of first, okay? Now, out of those three important things, what's the one must? No matter what. I don't care, you know, because sometimes we're going through the day and our day falls apart. Maybe something happens, whatever but you still have one that's must. I got to get this one done. Identify that. Now what I'm going to tell you is put everything on your calendar. Because that way it's real. You know, okay, you got the calendar for the day and you're going to estimate how long each of these things take and you're going to block them in your calendar. You know you'll get it done. If it's not on your calendar, it doesn't exist. Okay, and that's the, that's the problem most people have. They, they have this do list. And they don't have, you know, and, and there's no way they know, okay, how long, they don't even decided how long things take. So maybe they get one thing done, but they've committed to all these other people, I'm going to get all these other things done, and they won't. So I'm just going to say, write down the three most important things you need to do tomorrow, identify the one must, and then time block those three things in your calendar with the appropriate amount of time that it takes. Okay? Every high achiever does this. You know, I'm, I'm participating in something called Living Your One Thing. It's based on the book, The One Thing, written by Gary Keller and Jay Papazon. It's all about thinking and acting in the order of priority. Everything doesn't matter the same. There's things you're going to not get to. There's things you're going to say no to. You have to. But you have to live by your calendar. First, you're going to create the list, and then you're going to put it in your calendar, and that's real. Okay, now you have a real thing. You know, you know I can get these things done. Why? Because they're in my calendar. Okay, and you're going to time block those in as early in the day as you can. Now you have, and it's not going to take up your whole day. So that's where you're going to maybe wash the clothes or maybe walk the dogs or, or do all the other things. You know, you're going to have time for that, but you're going to have those 
Big rocks. Have you ever heard of the big rocks story where you put the big rocks in first, those most important things in first to ensure you get those done? And you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to move forward in your life and your business. You know, that's the most important thing you can do. So make sure you're, you're sitting down and you're saying, thinking and, and acting in order of priority. Time block these things in. Say, okay, what are the three most important things I need to do tomorrow? Which one's the one must? Block that in first. If I earn the right to do anything else, which is second, block that one in. If I earn the right to get anything else done, what's third, block that one in. Fill in the gaps, script your entire day, and you got a great plan for tomorrow. Hey guys, go out and make it an awesome day today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, tell me what your thoughts are, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that bell notification on the side so you get notified of any future videos. Go out and make it an awesome day today, guys. Thank you so much.